WMAR 2 News at 11. And here we are at 11. I'm Jamie Costello. Tonight, people in Baltimore are making sure that their voices are heard loud and clear. We started in the city south side tonight in a park in need of some major TLC. Neighbors say if it wasn't for them, Solo Gibbs Park would be in worse shape. And once again, they're asking for the city's help. Let's go to WMAR 2 News' Dave Dentley, who's live in the Sharp Leading Hall neighborhood tonight, to explain it to us. Come on. Hey there, Jamie. Well, like you said, this park has seen a better days going back to 1991. That is when the last upgrade pretty much took place and some of the issues they're having to deal with digging into their own pockets to replace basketball nets. This is just one of the many issues in the message to the mayor from this community. Make good on your promise to improve neighborhood parks. Kids come out and they want to play. And they want to do it safely at Solo Gibbs Park in South Baltimore. But these kids will tell you there are risks on and off the court. I roll my ankle on this court because it is because of what's just because of what it's made out of. The nearby playground also has issues. It's missing poles, it's rusty. Don't even think about a sip of water. This fountain hasn't worked in years. Forgotten. This this park here is definitely forgotten. Um, it's forgotten. For many reasons. Youth mentor and community leader Terrell Brooks, along with neighbors, have been pushing for improvements. He says getting wreck and parks to do the simplest of things like grounds maintenance has been a struggle. We were kind of like pushing the issue on making sure that the grass is cut and all those things here. Um, and right now we just we just want some answers and we want something done. The community's request comes after February's announcement by Mayor Brennan Scott that Rec and Parks was getting $41 million from the American Rescue Plan Act. Today, uh, this is us putting our money where our mouth is uh, by providing them with safe, up-to-date uh, spaces to, where they can develop their skills for life, exercise, and a growth of their productivity. Back at Solo Gibbs, the court hasn't seen any type of upgrade or any ARPA funds. The plea from the community, show us some love and some money. They continue to tell us there's no money, so when we asked about where the mayor's money is going, they didn't even know, you know, what parks it was going to be applied towards. But yeah, I'd like to see at least a couple million for this area. I mean, we're in a great community. Bottom line, these kids want a park worthy of playing ball at. Just be proud of. I want my community to have fun. And these kids definitely deserve a good park. Now, I did reach out to Reckon Parks about that money. We are waiting for a callback. Meantime, the community, they're not waiting for the city. In fact, they've organized a community and park cleanup mm -hmm. scheduled for this weekend. We've got more information on our website. Reporting live from the South Side, Dave Detling, WMAR 2 News. All right, Dave, it's your money. And tonight, Baltimore City gave you, the taxpayer, a chance to voice your opinion on how to spend it. WMAR 2 News' Ray Strickland was at taxpayer night where the increase in police spending, of course, was the biggest concern. Ray? We heard it before and we heard it again tonight. People living in Baltimore calling for a decrease in police spending. What they want to see done with that money is reinvesting in areas that can improve things like education, housing, and homelessness. And we look forward to uh, listening tonight uh, to your concerns. It was an unprecedented.